Okay, good morning. I got to hurry up with this video because I can see the camera battery is about uh, about dead. So good morning. Welcome to the Overtax Taxpayer channel. If you haven't subscribed, I urge you to do so. Good morning. My first sip of the day. Got some uh, some decent coffee, uh, but this time I put some lion's mane in there for mental cognitive, and I got some ashwagandha for the energy. Um, so a lot of people are. Uh, but let me just start with this. Where's the sip? Mm -mm -mm. A lot of people are uh, noticing in the news that there's a lot of <clears throat> a lot of publicity pertaining to Hunter Biden, and this is not just Fox News. This is the news that tried to hide Hunter Biden's crimes just to get just to help Joe Biden get into office. The same news is reporting this now. The speculation, I'm hearing this, and if it comes true, I'm gonna share the name of this person. The speculation, now I'm not the one that's prophesizing or anything, I'm just repeating what I heard. August 10th, by August 10th, Joe Biden's gonna step down. The second part of that equation is he's going to uh, he's going to state it's because of what Hunter Biden's going through. So that would be two prophecy hits, I'm spitting all over the place like a freaking Joe Biden. <laughs> that would be two prophecy hits. If he just leaves by August 10th, that that's I'll, I'll settle for the one. Regardless of how and why he leaves, I'll settle for that one. But then again, remember Kam Kamala, Camel Toe, um, takes um, his place. And it's irrelevant who's in office right now because you really have to understand this. Neither one of them are running this country right now. So it's irrelevant. They're just figureheads. They're just a face to blame the direction of the country. They're, they're, they're just there to blame be the blame, the fall guy or gal. Okay, so um, people have been reaching out to me. I, I've, I, I wish I wouldn't have done this, but I mentioned I was getting a new car. I shouldn't have done that because now I feel like a fool. The car has arrived in the United States, and normally a lot of people don't know this. When a car arrives in the United States, it, it goes through a port. Uh, a lot of times they're military ports. My car happens to be sitting in Port Wainimi, Oxnard, California. It's just sitting there. Uh, they either do the customs work on it and whatever needs to be done. A lot of times upgrades to vehicles are done at the ports. They're not actually done in the factories overseas. They're brought here and they have facilities, a Toyota facility, a BMW facility, a Mercedes, you get the point. And they just wheel those cars in and they do all the upgrades there so my car is sitting there and it's been sitting there since uh, June 26th and technically it should have been out by about um, July 10th it should have been shipped to the dealership here in, in Phoenix Arizona by July 10th it didn't happen I was uh, sent a a spreadsheet of what's going on with of, of the cars and my page was five of or seven of 86 so I can see like 10 other cars on my uh, on my page five or whatever it was seven of 86 my car is basically waiting for the upgrades that I purchased um, guess what no parts shortage on parts shortage on chips that's what America's come to if you have ever gone within the last four months six months to a car dealership if you want anything but white or black it's a special order car you can't go on to a dealership lot and pick up a new car most of the times the new cars are just the generic cars there are no upgrades to those cars even the wheels are smaller lousy rims they don't feel fill out the, the the wheel well they don't you know you get my point um 
no parts. And that's what is that is what America has come down to. We we are relying on parts from our enemies. There is a call of millions of call a recall of millions of cars. This has nothing to do with me now. Due to the windshield wiper, they don't have the windshield wipers now to service those millions of cars that were recalled. Guess where these wipers come from? Most of them are China. We've outsourced our means of doing business, our means of survival, and a car is not a means of survival, but there's other things that we've outsourced that we really need. And those people have got us by the freaking balls, the buffoons who've outsourced this because they invested in those overseas countries and then they outsourced the jobs to grow their own investments. You see how it works? Silver is pretty stagnant, still uh, below uh, the $20 mark. I heard cryptocurrencies. <clears throat> well, let me tell you this. If Joe Biden does step down August 10th, I heard that's a day or two after is when the big crash is going to happen. The big financial crash is going to happen. It's going to it's going to scare everybody. It's going to create an illusion to to other countries of a major instability within this country. They're going to pull their investments out to save their own necks. The stock market will crash. The silver market will crash. I believe but that's what I've been saying. I've been telling you the silver market and the crypto markets are going to crash. I've been telling you we'll be able to get silver in single digits again. Cryptos will be where they were seven, eight years ago. Those will be times to pick up a lot of quantity for a fraction of the price. Anyway, folks, I got to go. I want to actually remind you of something. The cognitive mess that Joe Biden's in, I, and I'm not going to keep, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to always mention this because I want you to remember this. I want you to pass this on to other people, and I want you to tell them to pass it on to other people. Don't let the news media outlets fool you or allow you to forget. They knew about this cognitive mess. They knew about Hunter Biden well before Joe was elected. They helped suppress this information, the, the cognitive mess that he's in and Hunter Biden's illegal dealings, as well as Joe Biden's illegal business dealings with Hunter. They hid it. They knew about it. They just wanted a brand name in the uh, Oval Office. They got it now. Take care.